This is the real Tom Rose, and we are trying to build a line. This is a build a line workshop. Uh, they want the equation of a line. It passes through negative one, two, and it's perpendicular to the line whose equation is given by this thing. So what we should do here is use point slope form. So you can, point slope form is a technique you can use to build a line. I'll show. I'll give you the equation over here on the right. Um, y minus y one equals m x minus x one, where you plug in m is the slope, y one is the y coordinate of a known point, and x is the coordinate of a, is the x-coordinate of a known point. So they give us a point, negative one and two. So y1 and x1, we already know what to plug in for that. The only thing we don't know is m, the slope. The clue we've been given is they tell us that the new line should be perpendicular to the line to this line. Well, one thing you should memorize and you need to know to solve this is that um, perpendicular lines have negative inverse slopes from one e from each other. So for example, if uh, if I tell you a line has the slope uh, let's say it's a fraction, a over b. Well, the line that's perpendicular to that will have the slope b over a and negative. Right? And so negative inverse is you flip it and you put a negative on there. So we just need to figure out the slope on this first line. And then we can take the negative inverse of that and we'll plug that in for m. So let's take this line and let's put it into slope intercept form. So we'll end up with negative 3y plus I'll just rewrite it real quick. x minus 3y plus 2 equals 0. Um, subtract 2 from both sides and subtract x from both sides. So x and 2 both cancel. And you'll have negative 3y equals negative x minus 2. Divide all the terms by negative 3. And you end up with y equals 1 third x plus two-thirds. So here's the slope. This is you, So um, slope intercept form, which is the form we just put this in, you can read the slope off of the x. It's the coordinate, it's the, uh, the coefficient of the x term will be the slope of that line. So the slope of this line is one-third. Now we know the slope that we want, the target slope is the negative inverse of that, so it'll be negative three. So now we're ready to plug in to our original equation and we can solve to get the correct answer. So let's say that we have y minus y1, which is, remember they gave us a point over here, which is two equals negative three times x minus x1, which is negative one. Now we need to simplify this and we need to put everything over on the left, slot, left side. For some reason, that's what they want. So y minus two equals negative three x um, and negative three times one will be negative three. So let's add 3x and 3 to both sides. And you get 3x plus y. So that minus 2 plus 3 is plus 1 equals 0. 3x plus y plus 1 is 0. That is the fifth answer choice.